Hello and welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to show you how to cut text okay so you can cut them diagonally you can cut them vertically or horizontally you can cut them hover all right so let's get started so first of all what you're what you're going to want to do is go ahead and hit T on your keyboard after you create your new document so go ahead and hit T, T on your keyboard and that'll open up your artistic text tool okay or you could just go on the left side here and then hit this A right here so hit that and now you can go ahead and create your text so just drag out however big you want your text we'll just do that for now and then we're gonna go ahead and type something so we're gonna go ahead and type in cut okay and then let's make this uh let's make this font big and thick so we're gonna go ahead and do impact so we could really really see what we're doing here so we're gonna go again hit go to impact and then now once we go do that we're gonna go ahead and just uh, hit V on your keyboard, so deselect your selection and hit V on your keyboard and then select your layers again. And then what you're going to want to do after that is go up here on the top, see where it says convert the curves, see where my mouse is at. Alright, so you're going to hit that, convert the curves, and that will convert your uh, your text group, you know, your text object into a, what do you call it, into a group of objects. So each individual letter is now an object that you could manipulate. So if you hit A on your keyboard to manipulate its nodes, you cannot do that, see? Okay, and it does it as a group. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, ungroup it. So I just click click on it, and then I have my hotkey set up for Control shift g to ungroup. And if you don't, all you're gonna have to do is just, if you don't have your hotkey set up, you're gonna have to go ahead and just uh, select it and hit V on your keyboard for your move tool and then hit ungroup up here. Okay, so let's just go ahead and ungroup your Layers and now it's pretty easy now what you're gonna want to do is go ahead and just let's say you want to cut it with a rectangle So just go ahead and do grab your rectangle tool and then just go ahead and let's make it a different color So we can see what we're doing. So now you got this guy. Okay, so now what you could do is you could let's say you want to do them all at one time like you want all your letters cut like this and if you want to do it all in one go uh, you can go ahead and just select the rectangle and hold shift and select all your letters and then hit appear on your uh, toolbar again you're gonna go to these boolean operations and you're gonna go to divide and that'll cut them all at the same time without having to manually select each letter and doing subtract or something and now all I have to do is just go ahead and, and click get rid of the excess lines that you don't need or the excess shapes. So anything on the edge and anything in between the letters we don't need. There you go. And now you got this nice effect. Do you see? And just to clean it up a little bit and boom. Now you got this, you know, you can see where you cut it. And so now all you can do is select all these individual shapes and then group them together. And then boom, look at that. And deselect them and now you have your cut. See? simple as that that's how you could go ahead and you know cut your text it's easy you know and then uh, if you really wanted to you could also instead of you know what are you calling it instead of getting rid of it you can uh, just also do a different colors see look at that and you get, get some nice cool effects oh, so amazing wow all right so that's how you cut text with boolean operations in affinity designer it's pretty easy so yeah if you enjoyed this video go ahead and leave a like Go ahead and leave a comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!